Time out. It's Kel, Sito, the spirit coach, getting you in shape and form for the new age. Yet again. Damn, I ain't even mic'd up. Let me get mic'd up real quick. You know what I'm saying? So we can get into this Raising Hell spell. You know what I'm saying? That's done in conjunction with the shadow government every summer. You know what I'm saying? Raising Hell. All right. And we're going to explain how they raise hell. So as soon as I get mic'd up, baby, we going to the tena. To the tena. We going to the tena. Shout out to everybody that's joining the esoteric huddle. It's Sito, the spirit coach, getting you in shape and form for the new age. All right, all right. All right, all right. Because we got to learn how to see shit. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't seeing shit the right way, you know what I'm saying? You don't got the right lens and shit. You, see, you might be seeing some imaginary shapes and forms that somebody else created. And those ain't how you supposed to see life, really. And shit like that. All right. <clears throat> but yeah. So, um, let's let's get into it, right? We got Moon and Leo right now. Before we go and get into the Mars and Leo, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do the Moon where the Moon is at. You know what I'm saying? So, happy uh, Moon Day for everyone, you know? Time to, you know, stay home. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, feel, you know, it's time to, but it's in Leo, you know what I'm saying? So, the Moon is in a space where it's doing the job of its... Uh, of its successor, aka the sun, right? So that's like the moon being the that's like the lady, you know, she wanna have fun and enjoy herself, right? She wanna have fun and enjoy herself for the most part, you know, in a feeling way, aka, you know what I'm saying, naturally, comfortably, okay, and in a fifth house. So you entertaining your emotions, your feelings right now, you entertaining your motherfucking you know, giving a whole lot of attention to your moves and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But it's not doing the job that it, it likes. It, it, it's not doing the job that it likes to do. It really, it really likes to be comfortable. But it kind of want to be seen. You know what I'm saying? It kind of want to be expressed. We kind of want to see that fire. And how that looks is where the sun is at. And the sun is now in Gemini. You know what I'm saying? So not only is, you know, the moon wanting to go out and, you know, entertain herself, right? She's going out, you know what I'm saying? When she go out, how it's going to look is the sun in the third house. So, you know, the moon is in a space where, you know, it's she she around her husband's friends and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? She even popped out entertaining and shit. And now she got a small talk and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So this is uh, that's just a little metaphor. But, you know, this is thinking about how to see emotions right now. Because that's what we're doing. We're thinking about how to see our emotions. Um, like I said, the moon don't really care for attention like that. It like to more so be comfortable and let, you know what I'm saying? Sun, sun take care of her problems. You know what I'm saying? That's like the moon is the mother. You know what I'm saying? The sun is, is, is what's motivating. I mean, the, the moon is what's motivating the sun to go get her shit done. All right. AKA, you know, everything we do is to protect our feelings and emotions and to protect our comfortable comfortability and shit like that especially uh when we talk about you know the external and becoming conscious and how to see the world and shit so um uh, yeah let me get into these motherfucking um houses i mean these alignments and shit with the field right now um yeah, so we will be thinking about how to see emotions. So try not to overthink those emotions based on being in a vulnerable mood, okay? We got moon sextile sun. This is opportunity to feel exposed. So you got the opportunity to feel exposed at the moment. So whatever emotions you got on you have the opportunity to be exposed. What up, Courtney? Um, moon sextile mercury. This is opportunity to communicate your emotions right now. So you know what I'm saying? You got the opportunity to communicate your emotions. Uh, moon conjunct Mars. This is misunderstanding the birth of a new feeling. Okay. So we going so we moon already conjunct Mercury right on, but you know what I'm saying? We still feeling, feeling the remnants of that. So, you know what I'm saying? We don't feel the need to kind of keep creating a new feeling and shit like that. We're going to feel like we need to get up and do something to transform something to give birth to something and some shit like that. Like we like, you know what I'm saying? That's how it is. 
uh, moon opposed Saturn, and it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, that's gonna be located through the feelings, right? You know what I'm saying? Because that's what we're going through. Um, moon opposed Saturn. This is feeling opposite to reality, so we might be feeling opposite to reality. So, um, um, so you may feel opposite to the things that make sense at the moment. You know what I'm saying? So that's like you getting too lost in your passions or sitting to get lost in your desires and shit like that or, or whatever, and you lose track of time on the 3D level. You know what I'm saying? Um, moon square Uranus, this is learning how to feel about change. So we all learn how to feel about change at the moment. All right, and let's get into uh, Mars and Leo. You know what I'm saying? So we just covered the field. You know what I'm saying? That's just the field. The field, okay, the field of reality, the moon what we receive and this shit like that, the feel, the feelings that we in, you know what I'm saying? All right, Mars and Leo. Like I said, this is ra raising hell, okay? So Mars represents birth, passions, motivations, desires, and willpower, and it will be in Leo, the fifth house, aka entertainment, how you have fun and enjoy yourself, expression, and creativity, okay? So that's where Mars will be hanging around at. And shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Giving a whole bunch of, uh, getting a whole bunch of attention for, or paying a whole bunch of attention that sense, you know what I'm saying? For the bad shit, you know, we like I said, we want to see some birth, like we want to see that shit. We want to, we want to entertain our, our desires. We want to entertain our motivations. We want to entertain our passions, all right? And so Mars in the fifth house uh, will bring passion to the five fixed house, aka all your passions is about to be entertained. So all your deep mining energies about to look like candy right now for the most part and once you go to the extreme when mars going to virgo you're gonna find out how that was unrealistic you know what i'm saying so don't go too to the extreme and shit like that um uh, with mars opposing saturn right now in aquarius you know what i'm saying this uh in that alignment specifically mars opposed saturn is seeing what's passions are realistic or fighting what's reality so you can be either on, on either side you could be fighting reality right now aka you're gonna go to the extreme to get your passions or you can see see what passions are realistic all right um so mars and leo will either make you extremely motivated or extremely lazy no in between and how the shadow government is going to use this you know what i'm saying um as they're gonna use this, this as a spell where they raise hell. Now, what is hell? Hell is a routine, a pattern, something you do over and over again. That's a hell, that's a jail, that's a cell. You know what I'm saying? Think about being in a cell, that's a hell. You know what I'm saying? You in a cell, you in hell. You know what I'm saying? All right, but, um, so yeah, so like I said, they will do a raising hell spell. Um, they will show y'all a bunch of sexual images um material things you desire uh, people might be dressing more so like animals in a sense like they may wear ch cheetah prints or you know what i'm saying they might show show more skin you know what i'm saying we, that's showing our nature that's showing our animalistic side you know um you know you might see brighter colors sports you know what i'm saying like you know the mayweather fight and um homeboy they initiated this this um you know what i'm saying vacations uh, you might see a, a lot of LGBTQ via social media and their television or people that's against that in some way, shape, or form, aka the polar opposite um, um, pers uh, version of that, which is basically you live in animalistic, like you don't have no type of creativity when it comes to your desires or whatever, or you want to live in the tropics or some shit like that, or you want to be all natural and shit like that. It's just the same thing. It's just, just one is modified and the other one is 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 just opposing what what could be modified all right so this is a representation this whole spell this is a representation of a birth of the birth of summer aka all of our internal natures being externalized okay that's why we look outside and we see flowers and shit right now you know what i'm saying so, you know because all every what was once dead you know what i'm saying that don't mean it's not it's not it's not here, but it's just like when our son, our son comes closer to, you know, based on them vibrating, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking, it creates an orb and shit gets birthed out of that orb. You know what I'm saying? AKA, that's in heat. You know what I'm saying? So think about when you like a boy or a girl or whatever and you go and you and y'all start vibrating closer to each other, not just on the physical level, but on a mental level and on a, um, 
and on a fit on an emotional level that's going to create an orbit between y'all going to get in heat that's going to create ideas and um that's going to create ideas and um the space that um things can give birth to aka y'all and created a reality and that's what we that's what sex is you know what i'm saying to join in a two energies or more to create another one okay Oh yeah, but uh, so this is the birth of summer, aka all of our internal natures being externalized. Um, so yeah, so um, so this will um, inspire you to eat the fruit, aka you know what I'm saying it's like the Adam and Eve story, but you know don't get too religious out because this is something we all influenced by. You know what I'm saying? You know, but this is their way of equalizing the world, aka y'all separate yourselves, go to extreme measures for a little or nothing. Okay, then you go overboard. Okay, you eat the fruit. You know what I'm saying? Just to pay your bills at the end of the day. And this is AKA you upholding their system that gave you the ability to do that in the first place. So, so they got both ends because they show you what the maximum desire is based on the magic square. Uh, it could be this, you know, this this possession or whatever. And you go and right now you're gonna see that possession and you won't want to go for it. And based on you wanting to go for it, you know what I'm saying? That's when you, that's, um, it, you know, that's when they provide the system. So if you, the more y'all want their desires, the more, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to have to have the systems to get those desires and shit like that. You know, it's just their shit though. It's their shit, you know, but we all doing the same shit in some way, shape or form. Like we all want we all want what the fuck we want we all want our desires and shit like that but it's time for us to start birthing our systems you know what i'm saying getting our structures and shit right you know what i'm saying and learning how to see the world and shit like that and that way when we we can all correlate together you know what i'm saying we can all correlate our own our our system you know what i'm saying because we all under one system and that's the solar system so i don't you know what i'm saying i don't give a fuck how you look at it but you know what I'm saying? We can correlate our system with their system in some way, shape, or form because, you know, it is going to be no choice. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have to fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Um, um, yeah, so like I said, so they got both ends because they show you what's maximum desires based on, you know what I'm saying, the magic square. Um, and, and I believe Dolo the Pilot Man has a uh, video on the magic square. Uh, they got in the world just to capitalize off of it. So this is raising, aka you separating in your arousal. You know what I'm saying? Going for your desire. Going for that desire. That desire that expire. Okay? Separating yourself in arousal. Um, which is which is raising. Okay? Because it's like raising a kundalini, if you want to talk about it in that way. Um, hell, just to get equalized by the government infrastructure. And their infrastructure is what you got to do to be able to uphold, you know what I'm saying, these desires and shit like that. And so the moment you go for that desire or that fruit and shit like that, you you might bite that shit and you might like it. And you might want more and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you might go too far to the point, you know what I'm saying, where you may lose your damn self and shit like that. And now that's how you end up working a, a, a job and shit like that. You know, for for life and shit, for a little bit of nothing and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't see it no other way. And uh, you know, like I said, this is Mars and Leo. Um, so shout out to everyone. You know, partic uh, participating in this energy. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we can. This is natural for us to participate in the birth. You know what I'm saying? The birth and the externalization of our desires and shit like that. But as a spirit, you know what I'm saying? You always want to create some type of equilibrium so that you can um, you can actually sustain yourself and know, you know what I'm saying, how to measure your situation and not go too far and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's an equilibrium game and shit like that that we plan. But for the most part, um, yeah, don't go too far in, in any spectrum and shit. And that's how you will be able to understand some type of equilibrium so uh, appreciate all y'all for joining the esoteric huddle thank you for watching this video shout out to mystical illuminations um you can book a reading with me see the spirit coach at clearsightconsulting.net i have a couple classes readings and consultations available 
um, at clearsightconsulting.net. Just search for Seat Thought of Spirit Coach. Um, new things coming soon, new music coming soon. Um, and yeah, we just gonna keep coming together. And so I appreciate all y'all, all the love, and get y'all laughing again.